All right, let's dive in and develop the relationship between bending moment, slope, and deflection. There are a number of analytical methods to determine the slope and deflection of beams. In this video, I will be using the method of integration to produce the equations for slope and deflection. Once you finish watching this video, please check out my video examples where I show you how to solve the equations for both slope and deflection in different scenarios like these ones based on the equations we derive in this video. Going back to elementary calculus, we can write that a curvature of a plane curve in xy plane in the form of this expression r is the radius of curvature dy over dx is the slope of the curvature and this is the first derivative and this is the second derivative if you want to know how to develop this equation then please click on this youtube card here or follow the link in the description box below in the case of elastic curve of the beam, the slope noted by dy over dx is very small. And the square of the slope, which is this expression here, is negligible when compared with unity. Therefore, without losing the accuracy of this expression, we can simplify this equation and write 1 over r is equal to, let's call this equation 1. A beam subjected to pure bending and when it is within the elastic range, the curvature of the neutral surface can be defined as 1 over r is equal to m over ei. r is the radius of curvature, m is the bending moment, e is the modulus of elasticity, i is the second moment of area about neutral axis. If you want to know how to develop this equation, then please click on this YouTube card here or follow the link in the description box below to the video where I explain how to develop this equation in detail. Let's call this equation two. It is obvious that equation one is equal to equation two and therefore we can write m over ei is equal to This equation is known as the differential equation of the elastic curve. And let's call this equation three. When we rearrange this equation to a commonly known form, we can write M is equal to the product EI is known as the flexural stiffness of the beam. M is a known function of x and the integration of the equation gives us let's call this equation 4 a second integration gives us this equation is known as the equation of the elastic curve and let's call this equation Five. Using the boundary conditions, we can determine both these constants C1 and C2. Then using equation number four, which is this one, we can calculate the slope and using equation number five, which is this one, we can calculate the deflection. Please click on the YouTube cards here or follow the links in the description box below to the example videos where I go through four different scenarios these four different scenarios and show you how to calculate slope and deflection in each of these scenarios. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions about this video, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.